Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to Omo Biafra TV. My amazing Biafra people, do do us and the Middle Beltans. I greet every one of you. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May whatever righteous you do, may it prosper. Amen. My amazing people, do not forget to smack the red button, click the notification bell, so whenever your sister upload, you'll be able to get notified. I appreciate all your support and help on this channel. My brothers and sisters, the video I'm about to share with you all is about what Ren Omokri said concerning our leader, Mazen Namdekano, in regard to the business centers at Lagos called churches, especially by our Oduwa people. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, I grew up in a Yoruba church. Categorically, I am here to tell you that the members, common members that are sponsoring and taking care of those churches, 95% of them are Biafran people. But to my greatest surprise and my dismay is that our people are being killed and murdered on daily basis by this satanic government of Buhari. And these church members, Kumui said nothing. That of Redeem, that of all these people, they said nothing. Everybody's interest to keep Nigeria one is nothing but because of their economic benefit from the Biafran people. And that is so irritating. By the time we finish with them, nobody will go to church because how can I go to church and give you money when my people are dying? I want you to tell me what to think about rent or mockery on what our, our leader Mazen Namdekan said and what am I myself am supporting. Let me know on the comment section. Between the north and the south. And that is why you would think in a party where the Tino, without the Tino booze, there would have been no Buhari. Buhari tried three times. He had CPC. He was in AMPP. He went around the country. He could not win. So why would you tell me that you cannot produce a southern candidate in the two parties? At any rate, I'll move to the next one. There is this agitation right now. There is the Afro nation. There is Yoruba nation. And all. What is your attitude to all this agitation? Because some people don't even want to hear all these stories we are talking about the next election. They don't believe there will be an election. I'm talking about highly pleased people in the South. They are not interested at all. Well, here's the thing, you know, uh, the, the issue with the um, Yoruba nation and then the uh, Biafra nation is uh, uh, um, if Unab the Khan had the kind of personality that Sunday Bohu had, you know, I mean, I, I can see that it's going to be a, it's going to be a possibility. If Unab can, but you see, Unab, at least uh, people, I know how, uh, I know, um, they, they can be very, very militant, you know, and I know they're going to attack me. But you see, Sunday Igbo is um, is willing to suppress his ego. Sunday Igbo is willing to work with uh, the Kanu and the Biafran people. He's very, very willing. And Sunday Igbo is someone that, that I respect a lot. But if you look at some of the comments by the Kanu and some of the things he says, it is very, very uh, upset people in the Odua nation, people in Sunday Ibuho's camp. If, if Unam the Kano can, can, can try to be doing and don't mind the thing that, that the British put together, like Nigeria, three artificial nations that they forced to be together that were a bit incompatible. And those three nations were India, Sudan and Nigeria. Of those three nations, India broke up Pakistan and Bangladesh. Then Sudan broke up. Sudan broke up into Sudan and Southern Sudan. Nigeria is the only country left of those three countries that the British put together artificially that were kind of incompatible. And so there is that possibility that the um, Odua nation, you know, Sunday Boho is somebody that is highly, highly underrated. The man is very, very intelligent, knows how to suppress his ego in place of his policy, his strategy, and his principles. I don't see Nam Bikanu having that, I'm not saying that I'm against you. Don't come and attack me. <laughs> <laughs> Renu, I've never known you to be afraid. 
no, uh, <laughs> the day, what the day, you know, when, listen to this, uh, the day that I counseled uh, Unam Dikanu, I said, look, mind the things that you say, that there are people that want to support you. There are people that, that you know, have sympathy for you. But when you keep on saying all these things, that uh, if you go to a, a church, a Yoruba church, if you go to redeem, you are an idiot. You can, when you begin to say all these kind of things, that it will alienate you from people who want to support you. There, that day, I got uh, death threats. I got so many people sending me emails. I mean, it was, it, I, I, I mean, I didn't like that. And I'm not afraid of death. You know, no. but, you know, I mean, I, I would rather not go into that. No, I can tell you that uh, Mazin and Dikanu has really, really come a long way. If you have faced the kind of fire he has faced, you become fully radicalized. Uh, I've had occasion to interview him and we've interacted briefly and I believe he has actually improved on his PR. His PR is solid. Trust me, his PR right now is solid. Yes, occasionally he can get angry, but you can't blame anybody getting angry over Nigeria. Nigeria is a mess. Anybody will get angry. But I can tell you that in Amdekanu, uh, I, I, I've, there have been two occasions I invited him Impro on impromptu basis to join the Zoom where we're doing a golden handshake between the Southwest and the Southeast. And he came on both occasions. And he was very mild-mannered. He even apologized when I challenged him on the video that was released during the NSAS where they were telling people to go and attack in Lagos and all that. And he said he won't do that again and he has not done it ever since. I can tell you there are people who are very close to him and they talk to him all the time. If he, he can maintain, fair. if he can maintain, I can tell you, can I can, I can tell you that he is a much more and, focused, much mm. more mature person today. I can tell you, even in one of his uh, broadcasts, he said if he, that if, if he, he still believed in Nigeria, he would support the Labour model for president. And I said, me, I'm not interested in any presidency or anything. I just want to face my job. That's why I'm talking to you. So, but I can tell you that a few of us, we will do everything possible to make sure that this new relationship, especially in the South, works. I'm not interested in any political office. Let me say that. Because people always think, hey, everybody is interested in, in political office. No. But I can tell you that he's doing very well and we will continue to encourage let me no tell human being uh, perfect. Let, on, no human being perfect. This, let, 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 me, let me just end this on this note. Is that uh, Nandi Kanu is someone that has achieved what nobody has achieved in Nigeria. Now, some people talk about Ojuku. Yes, Ojuku was a military governor appointed by Ironsi. And so he had a platform. William the Kanye did not have a platform. He came, he built his own platform by himself. And then he has gotten to almost, you know, like mythical status in the Southeast. Now, if you ask what you're saying, he has grown and then he has disciplined himself and he's not going to make some kind of comments that will alienate other people in the South. Honestly speaking, I mean, there, I see um, him and Sunday Buhu collaborating with Ghani Adams. Look, who, I mean, there's no telling where things can go. In fact, there might be the people that might actually force these parties to say, okay, we have to restructure. Even if we cannot give, um, uh, if, even if we cannot have a Southern, Southern president, what we must restructure. Otherwise, this country is not going to survive. No, I can tell you for free that both Mazin and Dekanu and Chief Sunday go at the demo, they have passed the stage of restructuring. So don't let's waste our time on that. They have passed. And time. okay. My okay. prayers are always with them. You see, because they know why they are saying enough. This is not the first time people are talking about restructuring. This is not the first time people are complaining about the injustice in Nigeria. So maybe some of us who still talk Nigeria, Nigeria, we're the foolish ones. So I'm willing to give that to them, that at least they have the courage of their conviction. They are very convinced that, look, you guys are wasting your time and we must not discourage anybody. Everything is possible on the table right now. Anything is possible. 
So if you and I are not ready to join them on the streets or in the trenches, we should not be the ones to discourage them. I got you. So, I got. I, I got you. No, no, please, please. Um, I will urge you, uh, maybe to uh, not frame it that way. I did not discourage them. I encouraged them. I, I said, I, I, this is what I said. If you, what I, I encouraged them, and I said that if Mazi Kanu can uh, move beyond some of the things that he said in the past, that it will go a long way. And then you said that, he's, that he has told you that he's moved I, I, beyond that. And I agree. So if, if he's done no, that. I, I so, listened to no, 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 his, his, uh, <laughs> his recent interview with the Ugandan journalist in Kenya. Let I mean, me it was Let absolutely me fabulous. Go on. Yeah, go on, please. No, but but that's the thing. And we don't have to overflow this now. What I'm saying, <sighs> what I'm saying is that since you are saying that he has he has grown beyond that, then we are on the same page. I, I did not say anything against him. I said that as long as he can measure himself and not say things that will alienate. I mean, if, if you if you if you have a leader like that, and then you cannot really help him to say, okay, these are the parts where you might be erring. You're not helping him. I'm not discouraging him at all. Not at all. I'm not discouraging him at all. And I'm glad that you have said that, okay, he's moved beyond that. It's a good thing. Now, we, 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 we can now move on. You know, there's, with me and you, we are, there's no disagreement. We are on the same page. Okay. Now, yes, I just wanted us to touch the different, different areas, those who